welcome back to another tricky mess video today we are checking out the update for um, reaper simulator they did just come out with the update 7.1 it was 6.5 for the longest time or maybe 6.6 .6. either way they did add in a new set of pets and as you can see I do have an electro equipped granted I didn't level it up or anything my uh, stats did go down but honestly these new sets of pets are not the greatest um, for example if you really wanted to grind out or getting all these pets I'll pretty much tell you the stats that I figured out the zombies do beat out um, anywhere up to the poles in um, the last set of uh, pets so Zombies will beat out Bandits, Pete the Pirate, and Paul. And that's just the common drop. So you could definitely get level 5s of that if that's really worth it to you, I guess. Um, And as you can tell that there are some of these that um, some of these pets don't have faces like the new butterfly. There's just nothing there. It's just... A uh, tan block with wings and then antennas. It's kind of like something out of a horror movie. Um, kind of like from that Pirates of the Caribbean movie where the Kraken apparently like takes your face off or some something like that. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. But anyway, same thing with the Electro, the new um, legendary pet. I think I'm. I got no idea what the classification for it is, but it's the rarest one now. Uh, as you can tell, there's not really much of a difference between the Electro and the Moon. The Moon just looks kind of cooler because it's just hovering around you. The Electro just kind of sits there. It doesn't really do too much. The stats aren't really much better. It's only by four like 45 45 and 49 49 so overall if you do get level fives like if you compare it to um, the moons with the seven pets and everything the moons will give you 5040 for like total uh, stats now with the electros if you have level fives of uh, seven pets of them then your new total would be 5488 but that's a lot of shards and the chances of getting them is really low and if you can tell there is one more pet in the rotation so it would take quite a while just to get it as you can or as these are there's only seven of them so um overall i would say grinding these will not be worth it um it is more expensive to get them than it is to get these like a great example would be this three percent the three percent is better than the one percent granted the one percent is a festive thing for Christmas but here uh, I'll just pull the sets so this is what the one percenter is it's supposed to be more rare than the um, robo 31, 29. It's a nice little snowman. Um, here, let's just unequip this. Let's take a little look at it, of what it looks like in um, comparison. Equip. Alright, let's bring him out. Now let's just rotate around. Like, look. Look at that. That one has, like, so much detail into it. But the uh, stats on it overall just don't compare. So this one's rare. It has a lot more details on it. It's missing kind of like the twig arms, but that's just something minor. Now this one is slightly better because look at the one thing that changes. Should be the shards. So 31 coins, 29 shards. 31 coins, 30 shards. It's better. It doesn't have too much details, but still pretty good. And these at least have eyes compared to the butterfly and the electro. But overall, 
uh, is it worth grinding these like new sets of pets? Not really, unless you really just want to try and get level fives of these like newer pets. Because <clears throat> the Electro is the only one that actually beats out the uh, Astronaut and the Moon, the two uh, rarest pets from the last set. Uh, the other ones don't really. Um, <clears throat> They don't really compare to those two in particular, because, oh, dang it, uh, there we go. I'm not used to playing on PC that much. So, um, in comparison, the Robo would beat out the Astronaut just in shards, but not in the coin-wise, especially when you're trying to get up to those higher ranks with the uh, coins. You want the coin multiplier higher. Because after all, once you reach a certain point with the uh, shards, you don't necessarily need to grind them so much. Kind of like I'm at 247 billion. I used to just grind it out all the time. But I just kind of stopped. I was waiting for this update to drop. Uh, the shops are currently broken, I think. At least they were when I checked them before. Yep. So the ranks are broken, there's no coin amount showing, there's nothing showing. Um, the soul shop is broken. The slight shop is broken. Oh yeah, and then one more thing that they put in, which I think was by accident, was let's go to this new area. This new area was supposed to have um, that circle that like generated coins every second. Instead of doing that, they added in the eighth flag. So, if you really want to get a lot of shards, hop into a VIP server and grab all eight flags. Overall, it's decent. It's not the greatest, um, but it's pretty much what's going on with this game is that it's currently broken and hopefully they fix it. It should be if not during the week it should be by next week and it should be fixed but I double checked the discord and everything and everyone else is having the same issues so you can grind out for skulls and stuff wait till they fix the shops but yeah uh, so that's just a basic overview I double checked the codes there I didn't find any new ones that were active but Overall, when they do fix the game, I will put up another video. And I guess that'll do it for this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, have a good one.